Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm D, and I am back with another video. So I want to say welcome to all of my subscribers. Welcome back to all of my subscribers. If you are new here, welcome. Uh, if you have not hit that subscription button, go ahead and hit that button down below. Uh, what are you waiting on? We like to have fun over here. We talk about handbags, handbags, and more handbags. So this is another unbagging reveal. Can't say unboxing because Dooley strikes again with those horrible boxes. Y'all, when I tell you my bag was on my front, my box was on my front porch, literally open, like open, like sun beaming down on my bag, okay? Sun beaming down on my bag, all right? So, oof, I had to come down, let that go. Bags are um, broken down away. Didn't have to do much to break them down, okay? Tape was already off of them. <laughs> so doing it doing what doing it do best but we keep going back so oh well we're gonna have to roll with it because i ain't stopping so you know all of my bags have to have a story so i am going to begin i had two bags to come today um so i'm going to start off with a bag that i already have in the silhouette it's just a different color so that's why I put both of these bags together in one video because I'm going to really focus on my bags, um, explaining my bags in my, what's in my bag. So my unboxings, I just kind of want to open it up and let you guys kind of see what it's about. I just not so long ago featured this silhouette, and I'm sorry about the noise with the paper, y'all. I don't know why I didn't just take it out. Um, a lot of people, you know, they like to see you with the paper um so i have a bag in this silhouette already it's just a different color matter of fact i have two bags in this silhouette and you that you saw them featured in my last video no video before last okay um the comparison video so i mean not the comparison video then you get yourself together um the um should it stay or go video so it is no, none other than the florentine tote and i think i mentioned to you guys in the video that i had ordered this bag in the red because i was on the fence about getting rid of my red russell so i am very familiar with this bag um like i said i have it and i have carried it it's just in a different color so it does come folded like this that's one of the things i don't like because you have to stuff it to get it right so let's see if i can I'm trying to puff it out but that is the florentine tote in red and you guys have seen this before on my channel is in my collection and y'all I left my scissors they are in another room so you guys know that um it comes with a dust bag all quarantine does and it's just your standard setup um zipper in the back with the pocket underneath and the two pockets on the other side in a big open compartment so i'm gonna take this dust bag out because i am going to put it in there so i'm gonna stuff all of this paper in here to the bottom so that they can sit out so this is the florentine tote in red and it does have four feet at the bottom and it is smooth as butter i'm not so sure about the other bag that i own that i have but it's all good so i'm not gonna spend too much time on this but this is the bag in red so I don't know y'all. I think I'm gonna keep all my bags for right now. Thank y'all so much again for all of the, the um advice in the comments. I appreciate y'all more than you know. 
that helped a sister out. For all of you who just kept it real, sus what straight up, sus what was 100, okay? Sus what say, look, I'll keep them all. That's why I'm in this situation. I mean, <laughs> sus came straight out, baby. She was like, what? I ain't even playing around with you. And it was a lot of y'all that was like, you know, I'm not the one to ask this to because I, I'm not getting rid of none of my bags. <laughs> and it's all good. I love that. I love that because that helps me to feel better. Um, it makes me feel better. It makes me feel like, hey, I'm not the only one out here that's having this issue, you know? Um, it's a good and ugly issue to have. Sometimes it just depends on how much space you really have, I think. Um, my house is not overcrowded with bags in every nook and corner. That's not the situation over here. Um, me and my husband, it's just us. We don't have, I don't have any children. You know, I don't have anybody occupying these extra rooms. Um, and my rooms are very neat and uh, there's not like bags everywhere except for the room that my bags are going to be in now because I have them laid out waiting for um, where I'm going to place them on my shelves and stuff. But before then, my setup was like um, my closet because my closet actually has uh, shelves, huge shelves built in the wall so you know i had spaces and they have shelves built in the wall and then there's cubby holes that are huge i mean big there's like five or six of them i don't know if it's five or six and they were they they house my bags and the shelves go all the way around my closet um two two shelves all the way around the entire closet so all my bags were there. So, and I had a few in the back room in the closet, but not many. Um, so I was actually okay um, with where my bags were, but I want to give my husband a little, little space. I took all the shelves with my bags, you know, um, his tennis shoes were uh, somewhere else. And so that's why I wanted the room. And, and we have the space to do that. Um, so that wasn't the thing. My biggest thing, and I know I'm going off the whatever, but my biggest thing was feeling guilty about buying bags and I hadn't used a good bit of bags already. So that's what my biggest thing was. Hey, I haven't used this bag or that bag or that bag or that bag and I am buying more bags. So that was my thing. So um, I'm just going to go with the flow. If, if I don't see anything I want, I'm not buying nothing, which that's what I have been doing. If I see something I want, is at a good price, something I have desired, and it's at a good price. They have to be both. Um, then I'm grabbing it, you know. Like I've said from the beginning of this year, or you can fast rewind, go through all my videos for this year. The number one thing was I wasn't going to go and buy on impulse. Everything that I purchased... I have put thought into it and that's how sometimes I'll lose out on bags that I really want because I'll either be waiting um, for the price to go down because that's another thing I'm not I don't pay full price I don't um and even my bag that I got from um QVC okay QVC who got QVC coins you know what I'm talking about um uh, that bag was on sale that wasn't the full QVC price, baby. It was on sale. So, and I really desired it, so I was, able, I was willing to pay a little bit more for it. And I know I don't have to explain myself, but I like to talk. And I like to, um, you know, I don't know if somebody else might be feeling this way. And what I'm saying might help you. That's always my thing. Um, never trying to justify, never try, try to um, justify or try, whatever. Um, but yeah, so... That has been my focus from the beginning of the year, purchasing bags that I truly desire. I study the price. I look at it, make what to go down. If I have to um, uh, sacrifice a little something different for a bag that's similar to another bag I've been waiting on and it never came around on sale, that's what I do. That's what I did with my Brahmin, my Brahmin drawstring. That wasn't the initial bag that I wanted. I wanted the all pink, but the all pink never went on sale. And this bag did have pink in it. And so guess what Guess what I did? Guess what D did? D grabbed that bag. 
okay, and I'm gonna make it work. I'm sound, I'm sounding like Angelique, baby, okay, but I'm gonna make it work. So that's just me. I, I and I'm going, I'm not going to um, just buy something to buy. That's just not how I am in this game. Um, and I have my own style, y'all. Now somebody might show me something, and I'll be like, oh man. I like that. Ooh, I might want to add that to my collection. You know, that's okay to be like that because that's your style. That's what you like. And on the other hand, somebody might show me something that they love. And I'm like, oh, I love that for you, sis. You know, I love that for you because I'm going to cheer you on regardless. I'm never going to put down what you like. That's your thing. You know, and I'm here for it. But I have my own style. I don't, I don't gravitate to everything that everybody else gives me, so I want it. That's not me. I'm trying to do what works for me. That's how you end up in a whole nother atmosphere. So anyway, I'm done talking. I'm at 11 minutes. That's too much. So this is my Florentine tote in red. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, probably be used more around the holidays, Valentine's Day, 4th of July, um, Christmas time. That's when I like to bust out my red bags, y'all. So the next thing, oh, and I had this with it too, because of the price, you know, I like to use my 20 off of 100. And so this bag... When I used my 20 off of 100, it put me underneath the 119, which made me pay for taxes. So instead of me just paying for taxes, I wanted to get something for my money, you know. So I picked up another one of these little coin purses, which I love, y'all. Another one of these little coin purses, but it's in chestnut. And I have a satchel. Um, my American satchel is in chestnut. So that's what this will be used with. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. So I got another one of those babies to um, be able to use my 20 off of 100 and not pay for shipping. Okay? And I don't know if I showed you guys this. The total was 24 out of 50. Okay? Number 24 out of 50. Do you guys keep those things? I do. I keep them. So, the next thing here. This is brand new to me. And this is a... Dooley Addict 615 um, purchase. This is, a, this is influenced by Dooley Addict 615. Also, Indudably, Sinise has this in... The Ecru. And it is none other than the Ellie bag. So, and y'all, I'm serious when I say y'all, my bags are with a lot of thought. So, I don't know if y'all remember. I don't remember what video it was. It was a while back when I was getting my um, Cameron Satchel crossbodies. Um, I wanted one in red so bad. And I, they did not have it. They never would have the red. Never had the red. Because I wanted me a red crossbody bag. Never would have the red. So I've been kind of like, you know, back and forth with a red. I want a red, a red crossbody. I want a red crossbody. So, um, DA615 showed this bag. This was her bag that she got from Peter. Okay. She got this because she's an influencer, a, a, you know, a sponsor, or whatever you have it. That's what she is. So, and when I saw this bag, I was like, hmm, hmm. There go my red Florentine bag. But for the longest, they didn't have the red. They only had the white, I think. And so, and it probably wasn't at the price, too, because I watched it. Like I said, I'll be watching y'all. So this sucker finally went to the price that I pulled the trigger on, okay? 
Then, of course, I had my $20 off of 100 So, it is none other than the Ellie, um, the Ellie bag in red. It's just simply called the Ellie bag in red. Now, what I am so excited about, and due to this, Elise loves this strap. Matter of fact, she has another bag with this strap. It's a bigger bag that she's always talking about. Now let's look this baby over now. It is, it's a little, well, it's smooth for the most part. Look like a little bit of pebbling. Just right there, like a little bit. Not much at all. This is a beautiful bag, y'all. Oh, I love this bag. Oh, I love this bag. This bag is the perfect size. It's not too big and it's not too small. See that? I'm going to just hold it like that. And when I do it, what's in my bag, of course, I'm going to put the measurements. But y'all see? Now, I don't know. Do they have a... I know they have an older one. Oh, no, huh? Did my quarantine just come off? Maybe they had some tape on here and my quarantine and came off. My, uh, my red then came off. I don't know if that's enough for me to send this back. Y'all see? This little tape was on there. This tape was on there. What? Look. Y'all can see that? Took the red off of it. Because the red is on the tape. Look at that. The red is on the tape. But it's all good. It got a character flaw already. Oh, Lord. I ain't going to even worry about it. Look, I don't know if you can see. Right there to the bottom. But it's all good. It's very, very small. When I say small. So, um, this is a cutie, y'all. This is a cutie. Now, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Hold on, y'all. So, y'all, I'm going to do a little demonstration. Y'all, I like this bag. Ooh, yeah. Let me see. So, this is the shoulder. Oh, I like this. This is the shoulder. Oh, and so, let me see. They say it's real easy to turn it into a crossbody. Let's see. Uh-oh. I will be the one to, to mess it up. Lord. Now, they was doing it like it was easy. Hold on. What am I doing right here? Oh, I got it. Yeah. Oh. Here we go. Okay, okay. Y'all can kind of see. Oh, this cute. Y'all, I like this. Oh, I love this, y'all. Love it, love it, love it. It's so light. To say this is quarantine, it's so light. And I know it doesn't have anything in it, it is stuff, but it's light. Not heavy at all. This is really going to be my throw on bag, honey. And I love the contrast of this uh, strap. Now, Lord. I hope this strap don't be getting dirty. I ain't gonna be wearing it like that. I'm gonna have to see about that. But look, I love how that red is up against this khaki. Isn't that pretty? That is so pretty. Look at that. I love that. In the back, my phone can fit in here. Oh, child. This is a perfect little bag. I mean, perfect. So that's it, y'all. This video. Is almost 20 minutes long, but y'all know I like to talk. Y'all know I love to talk. So this is my red Florentine, red Florentine bags, honey. Yes. So thanks so much for watching, guys. If you guys have any questions about any of the bags you are welcome to leave them down below i appreciate you guys so so much and thanks so much for watching and don't forget guys i use rakuten 
I don't care if Dooney have one percent back. I use Rackerson, okay? Because Rackerson is it, okay? Matter of fact, I should be getting to check it sometimes next month. So if you guys have not signed up for Rackerson, I will leave that link below. Go ahead and click that link. I'll get thirty when you spend thirty dollars for the first time, and you'll get thirty-two. So thanks so much for watching. Y'all have a great night. Bye-bye.